Today we smell love potions of the wild. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Birds do it, bees do it, the wild American boar does it. What? Release a scent to let potential mates know oh. that it wants to mate. Yes. It's kind of like Bojangles fried chicken for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's how it works in your house? There's not even a Bojangles out here. No comment. That explains why you haven't had any children since moving to California. <laughs> no comment. Okay, now the hunting industry has taken note of this, uh, this fact that animals release these scents, and they have created a whole array of things that you can apply to yourself if you're trying to attract an animal. And we thought, well, we're not gonna apply them to ourselves, but we're gonna apply no. them to something and see if we can match them with the animal that they are meant to attract. Mm. It's time for Can You Smell the Love Tonight? And can you guess it right? I am told that magical love smell of corns are going to well. fly down in front of us, and then there are scents applied to them that we are going to smell and then see if we can guess what animal it is supposed to attract. Yes, and because it would be just a complete shot in the dark, uh, we have a list of the animals that we might be choosing from. Mm -hmm. We have more than we actually will be choosing from, along with some descriptions about their mating habits, which I've really been enjoying. Uh, but that information will help us with our answers, with our guesses. Yeah, so our choices are bear, wild boar, fisher cat, which is like a weasel, coyotes, mm. deer, raccoon, or red fox. Coyote, if you will. Let's do this. Now the loser at the end of all this has to smell all these nasty smells together in the frankincense machine. Hoping mm. that's not me. All right, drop the smell of corn. No! Oh! Okay. Okay, now the scent is applied to the rear end because that's, that's where a lot of these scents come from. Uh, and just so you know, every person in here besides us has a mask, has a gas mask on right I now, basically. I have not smelled since it dropped. I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna give it a little. It's not the most horrid thing I've ever smelled, but it's you're getting in close, getting in intimate. Oh, there it is. You gotta, you gotta really get her. Okay. Really. <laughs> okay. Doesn't make me feel sexy. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Wow, it's kind of. It, it smells pee-ish. Yeah. It smells like pee to me. It smells like I've like bar but not Barbara. As, it, Pull it no, up. Not a strong pee. Hello. It, it smells like uh, like when Barbara has done something. Uh, pee on something. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna consult my cheat sheet here. Well, I don't know. It, it was it was still kind of mild at the same time. Some mild mm. urine smell. Mm. Well, okay. So I do know that a, a bear, <clears throat> black bear, for instance, a uh, very promiscuous. They like to pee all over the place. The ladies like to pee all over the place to draw as many men in as possible. That's not and helping you, me. And, and I kind of feel, but that doesn't smell like bear pee. That wild, smells like small animal pee. Wild boar also uh, released pheromonal urine. So did deer. I feel like, I, I have a guess just because I feel like this is dainty pee. This is mm. a little dainty pee. Yeah, me okay. too. Okay, three, two, one. Deer. deer. Oh, we agree. They, it runs all down their legs is what I'm reading. Gross. This is a urine-based lure meant to indicate sexual ripeness and territorial bounds to provoke the attentions of a wild boar. Oh, Ooh, really? Wild That's boar. boar pee? Ah, uh, pheromonal urine for the loss. Okay, bring in the smell of corn. Oh, there she is. Oh, gosh. You smell it first. I'm, I can, ew. I'm not breathing yet. Mm. Oh. <coughs> that, uh. that bad? I need to get it. I need to know what it is, though. <laughs> let me get a. Let I me can't, get in there. I don't feel like I can get close enough to make a determination about anything. Oh, oh gosh, it's it's sweet. Oh, it's sweet. <laughs> I never thought oh. I'd see you pull up a unicorn's tail and say it's sweet. That, I mean, that is where the rainbow comes from, right? <laughs> oh, it doesn't have, it has like a high sweetness to it. Okay, I, I feel like if I discuss what I think about this when I'm gonna be giving my answer away, but I, I it's feel- it, it, se it seems glandular and not uriner. Uriner? It's not a urane, ur uriner. <laughs> it's not a uranus. Oh gosh, there's some glandular, like anal gland stuff happening with the Fisher cat. I don't know what a gland smells like though. It, it smells bad, but not like a pee. When you take your dog to the groomer, 
that's they, an option. Like for two dollars extra, they, they express the yeah. anal gland. Yeah. How does and it if express you don't, itself though? They'll do the. It expresses itself when they do the butt scoop. But what does it say? What is it trying to say? Well, if you're a fisher cat, it says, "Come with me." Madam. Okay. All right. I've got my guess. Okay. Three, two, one. Raccoon. Fisher cat. This is a shellfish-based lure, uh, effective in mimicking the food-centered breeding grounds of the raccoon. Yes, oh. I knew it was food. It was. It smelled like a. It smelled. It smelled. It, 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 it smelled, smelled like, like a dumpster. It smelled like a dumpster to you. And I and I knew that they they did it. In, they did it in the breeding. Their feeding grounds. <laughs> the breeding grounds are the feeding grounds. Yeah. Well, good on you, rat. Uh. Okay, drop the corn. No, Link, have at it. I'm afraid that with such moments. Oh gosh, it's got oh, it's got oh. stainage. It's got a stain. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my golly. <laughs> oh. Golly wally gee. Oh, that made the top of my head tingle. Now, first of all, the ones that come from animals, the 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 we're using only the natural stuff. So we're not using synthetic. So this, uh, if it comes from an animal, this uh, is from an animal. That was horrifying. Cause what I thought was an anal gland was really just shellfish based raccoon dump, stir food. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's bad. Yeah, aim for your mug, brother. Once you get it, man. Yeah, it's like your body says, get it out. Look at it though. It's I, got, I feel like there's information in the visual. What does that look like it came from? That This has got to be the anal gland one. It just feels like. Man, how, how could you take it away? Take it away! Oh gosh! How could you f be attracted to that? Instant headache. I don't. I, I'm glad you, I'm you a, a human, man. You're a twisted animal, man. Oh, Doing please. wild things. I mean, I like a good cologne, a good fruity, a good fruity, oh. a, a fruity per perfume, but I don't like that. I've smelled coyote urine before, and that was bad. Okay, I think this might be coyote gland scent. I don't know. Uh, mm. I gotta guess. Okay. Three, two, one. Red, Red fox. fox. Yeah. This I was is trying a gland-based lure containing an enormous amount of blended and aged scents to quickly attract a red fox. Yeah. Oh. Hey. I tried to lead you off. But yeah. You well, you the, going. the reason we knew that is because we knew that they become incredibly pungent. Yes. And they mix it with the urine. But we didn't want to. Neither of us wanted to say anything because we yeah. didn't want to lead each oh, other. Oh man. What do you want for lunch? Why are you getting hungry? Red fox gland. <laughs> Okay, drop it. Oh, man. Let's see if this one's got a brownie on its back. <laughs> no. No brownie. You want me to go? Yep. It is a little gelatinous, though. Yeah. Oh! Whoa, okay. Yeah, but you know what? That is a more, that's more, it's a more familiar smell. It, that smells like. Uh, the, yeah. the farm center of the state fair, you know? That yeah. was the favorite part of the state fair was to go and see all the backsides of the mm. cows. Mm. Uh, and then the butter sculpture, that was the highlight of that part. Oh, oh, take it away. Take it away. Uh, yeah, to me that feels like that's definitely um, urine. urine in the nose. That is it's, definitely it's got urine. a pungent, sour, um, man, I, I wouldn't rub that on me. But it's almost an agricultural urine smell. I'm just going based on state fair experience here, mm. which I have a lot of. You think anybody farms coyotes? Yeah, they. Uh, you been to a coyote farm? Oh yeah, it's it's very unpredictable there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <sighs> Three, two, one. Deer. Deer. This is another urine-based lure taken specifically from a sexually mature in heat doe. So yeah. yeah. Hey man, we we can't get ahead on you. We're uh we're good at this. We should work for the companies. We should work for the companies that test the scent. Oh, are you volunteering? My uh, eyeballs are no, hurting. No, I'm saying my resume is out there. <laughs> uh, okay, it all comes down to this one. If I beat you, <sighs> if I beat you in this round, that means we both have to endure the Franken scent. Um, oh. If you get it right and I get it wrong, I have to do it alone. It That's smells so bad in here already. Drop it. Yeah. Oh, what in the? Oh, gosh, makes me angry. I've never smelled anything that made me want to punch myself in the face. Go, go ahead and do it. <laughs> it, might, it might help you. Gosh, it's it's putrid. It's like it smells a like skunk. skunk. It smells like a skunk. It smells like a dad gum skunk like, butt. I feel like my lungs are burning. I feel like my chest is starting to hurt. <laughs> 
when you get close to it, it smells whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hey, man, don't let the smell of corn swing. That's the number one rule of having a smell of corn hanging between yourself. When you, when you get close to it, it smells like fuel. It smells like a heinous fuel. Well, maybe maybe we could heinous fuel or mm-hmm. anus fuel. <laughs> because we, we, I, need, we, I feel the anus. <laughs> yeah. uh, with this, oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness! I don't, oh gosh! I, don't, I just want. Oh wow! It, it does. It, take it, it away. It smells like construction. It smells like road construction. Yeah, like asphalt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Asphalt construction. That's the, or like who, a paper plant. I know whose fault it is. Oh okay. gosh! Okay, I can't imagine that coming from anything smaller than a mammoth. A bear, you know? a bear, like, a cat. A mammoth cat is not a coyote. On here. Mammoth is not a blue whale. Like you gotta have a large it's like a large animal that is squeezed down to its essence. <laughs> That's what that smells like. Bears are gross. Okay. Mm. Here Coyotes we go. Are, are desperate. Okay. Three, two, one. Fisher cat. Okay. <laughs> This is pure, genuine skunk quill, which mirrors the combined breeding and eating locations of the Fisher Cat. Yay! So that was actual skunk? It was actual skunk, and Link, you have to endure the punishment. <laughs> hey, first of all, we were both really, really good at this. I was a little bit better. But, hey, man, you should feel good about yourself. Yeah, you're going to have to smell all those scents, but you should feel good. You're really good at this. <sighs> yeah, I'm so good at this. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. My name is Arna, and I'm in Hemner Springs, New Zealand. Now it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. We excreted all of our wisdom juices right onto the pages of Rhett and Link's Book of Mythicality, and you can waft it right into your shopping cart over at bookofmythicality.com. Pre-order now! And click through to Gimoth Gamora, where I am going to smell every nasty smell that we just experienced all at once, and only those smells. Six degrees of bacon. This is when we get you to connect bacon to something random in the comments. And we want you to connect brass trombones to bacon. And six degrees or less, we will pin our favorite comments. Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And make sure to check out our new channel, This Is Mythical, by clicking the video at the bottom. Thanks for being your mythical best.